This is assisted single-ended uh, version of Edelweiss 3 amplifier with uh, 6V6 type tubes. Uh, actually, they are Soviet military 6P1P uh, repackaged into 9-pin uh, bulb. Uh, real 6V6 wouldn't fit in this uh, preamp chassis that I used for this prototype. The advantage of this uh, assisted single-ended design is I can use push-pull transformers that uh, are much smaller that would be needed for the same power with uh, parallel uh, output tubes. But I don't know if I will go with such amps in production because output transformers even though are smaller but for such tubes they need uh, a very high uh, primary induct uh, inductance and uh, impedance so it uh, goes against the main reason of Edelweiss 3 to make high-end amplifier affordable What is Edelweiss 3? Edelweiss 3 is a project of affordable high-end to drive uh, many types of speakers and uh, practically all types of headphones from dynamic headphones to hard to drive planar magnetic headphones uh, As you may hear As you may hear, these dynamic headphones uh, sound as loud as loudspeakers. So for them, I have uh, output attenuator that allows to adjust output power according to the headphones that you use. As I said before, Edelweiss 3 is a project of affordable high-end. What's high-end? High-end for me is life-like sound quality. When you don't hear amplifier, don't hear speakers, you hear just the music and uh, you cannot say is it uh, repro reproduced or uh, is it position in the middle or is it live sound okay so now uh, I use this uh, this is my favorite uh, oscilloscope and this one I use for measurement it shows all numbers so let's set one volt RMS so like 146 uh, amplitude means one volt RMS now it's one kilohertz frequency let's check frequency response okay uh, this is 20 hertz frequency and uh, the same output voltage that means it's flat from 20 hertz on one volt output it doesn't mean that it, it will deliver all power at 20 hertz but uh, frequency response is flat 
and uh, for different type of speakers I have uh, damping control that supplies from positive output impedance to negative output impedance. Now let's see what happens when we increase output impedance. Voltage goes down. Some speakers are uh, mechanically damped so they don't need active damping but uh, some other speakers benefit from it. This is 10 kilohertz frequency. Let's increase it and see what the upper limit. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 kilohertz. Two hundred kilohertz. Okay, back to hundred kilohertz and increase slowly until it will be one volt. So the upper frequency is one hundred sixty kilohertz on minus three decibel level. This is 10 kilohertz square wave. Let's increase the frequency. Uh, it was 1 kilohertz, now it's 10 kilohertz. As you may see, there is slight ringing and the frequency like 100 kilohertz, uh, it doesn't hurt at all and it is very slight. So my conclusion is uh, this amplifier has the right to live but uh, not in NLY3 um, project. It's a little bit too complex for affordable single-ended amplifier and probably I will use what uh, I worked out in this design in some other pro project uh, with more features like uh, transformer balance input, uh, fauna stage uh, and so on. This is the first and probably the last such version of the Y3 prototype. And uh, I finished with the research and development of this version. It will not go to production. But uh, if somebody wants it to drive their headphones, I am ready to sell it. I am finished with this particular design. I know what to improve in it, how to improve. Uh, but it's uh, for the next level of amplifiers.